Hi friends, now we're going to talk about how the first step, how we will get the persona screen. Okay, it will not come here in ISAP GUI. So I'll show you. If first we go to this transaction SICF, okay. So here you go to this transaction SICF and here you will have this default service. Now here the service name that you are going to do is personas. So here you select this personas, okay, and you can search it from here, but generally it will be always called personas, okay. Now this will be installed by the basis. I'm not covering the basis portion because I really don't know, but the basis will first install everything and then you are ready for use. Now you are going to execute this. The moment I execute this, okay, you'll see there's things, the, a new screen shows up and here now you have personas. After this, you click right click and you click on test service. The moment you hit this, you'll say you can hit just say allow, okay, and this screen will open up. Okay, you have to log in for the first time um, because this is it's opening the web GUI. Uh, so let's see whether it shows up. Okay, here it is. And here I will again log in. So let me log in first. Oops. So here I log in. And here I give the password okay. and here you see here I click and the moment I do this it will open the NetWeaver uh, so it's a web version right we are doing, going to do all this magic in a web version and the moment it will show up see it's glowing clicking on loading and it will take some time for the first time because you know uh, depending upon the internet speed okay i'm working on an s4 hana system but again lots of things depends upon the internet speed which you are and since everyone is working from home uh, you will have less internet speed okay so now you can see the major thing is you will see this p p is for sap screen personas you can also use control alt p and you can just click on right you can just click on this okay you can click left click and here if you see i have already left clicked and it's uh, this is taking time and eventually it will drop down and you will see a new screen coming up okay on the top so let's see this is let's try to here it is you see i have already created some uh, flavors so here from here you can just start creating flavors so this is the way you can launch the personas and from here you you might have flavors here is the original screen you might do scripting and all those things you want you can delete and all those things but this is the first thing you have to do once you are here then we are can do all the magic but in order to do the magic you have to open this and this is the way how to launch a personas in SAP ECC as well as S4 HANA.